good morning. Today is Tuesday. I need my caffeine. I almost said Tuesday. Today is Monday. As a matter of fact, today is Monday, January the 8th, 2024. Hold on. Celsius. <laughs> I am back. The holler to all again. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everyone shows up this morning. And uh, let's get to it. Now, one of you guys suggested that you know I should do intro music and outro music and all you know the Bills and Wilson and stuff like that. And uh, I may do that one day. But what I wanted to do in the beginning of my channel. In the process of building, I'm building my following and my, you know, my subscriptions or whatever, getting bigger and bigger, hopefully grow. What I wanted to do initially was have people show up for the conversation, not the bells and whistles. I wanted people to be interested in what we're talking about, not all the little flashing lights and you know side track stuff. No. What are we talking about? Are you interested in the content? Because I've seen channels with the, some of the, the, the most extravagant intros, outros, uh, all type of videography type stuff, right? They're not just in a truck like me just talking on the camera. They got all types of productions going on. And then you listen to them talk in the content and it sucks. So I still don't watch it. You done put all that time and effort and money into all the bells and whistles, all the lights and flashing lights and music and whatever else you got going on. And then your content boring. Your content sucks. I don't like it. So you done wasted your time doing all that. So I didn't want to do that with my channel. I wanted you to be here for, for the topics, for the conversation. I wanted you to be interested in what we got going on between me and you, the connection. Not all that little extra fluff. But then when I get to talking, you don't care about what I'm talking about. I ain't want that. So to the person that suggested I do the intro and outro music, there are other channels that got that. You, know, you can go watch them. I appreciate you watching me. When, when you get tired of the music and they ain't talking about shit, you come on back over here and, and rock with us. Appreciate it. <laughs> well, I'm talking cat shit sometimes. Y'all bear with me. I, I'm, I can be sarcastic. But I mean no harm. But anyway, New Year's Day, right? We had a family gathering. Me and my family, we like to have gatherings where we get together, eat, fry fish, cook, whatever, talk shit. My whole family talk shit. You know, we talk, you know, we, we shit talk. I think I'm the best at it. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I get it from my mom. So, New Year's Day, we were over my cousin's house, Tamika, and her husband, Aunt, watching Alabama lose. <laughs> I should have stayed home. If I would stay at home and watch it, we probably would have won. But anyway, because I normally don't watch when we're in the playoffs at nobody's house, I like to stay at home or at my cousin Trina's house. When I watch it over Trina's house, we win. So, anyway. So we were watching the game, and one of my other cousins, women, one of my women cousins, she was like, men, she said, men love women that treat them bad. Men don't want no good woman. Men want and like and love women that treat them bad. Like men want to be treated bad. Right, and then uh, my lady friend, I was talking to a lady friend of mine, we were talking, she was telling me about some friends of hers and their husband or their boyfriend and how bad they treated their men. And the men wouldn't go nowhere. She treated them bad, she had a friend that stayed out two or three days at a time. Say the, the boyfriend or the husband would be calling her, asking how she seen him, crying on the phone, 
she didn't do them bad like that. She didn't start doing that crap till they were together for a little while. When he fell for it, got weak. Now she know he ain't going nowhere. I can do whatever I want to do. That's what you should do. You see that part. And you think that's just what men like. Try that shit with me. I done been that done that and how I know. I'm speaking on what I know. That's why I say in love, uh-uh. If that shit's a blood player, a man is not supposed to be in love with anything. Not just a woman, alcohol, anything. Nothing should control you. When you're in love with something, it controls you now. Keep that in mind. Get it? Got it? Good. Bye.